Welcome to Disney Story Time. To hear the story read to you. Toy Story, Starry Night. Guess what? Bonnie said to her toys one afternoon. We're doing something special tonight. The toys were arranged on top of Bonnie's bed. They couldn't wait to find out what the something special was. We're going on an adventure. Bonnie said, clapping her hands. Though they didn't make a peep, the toys all wondered what kind of adventure was in store. We're ready to go, said Bonnie, as she gathered her toys in a big tote bag. First, she picked up the toys her new friend Andy had given her, Woody the Cowboy, Buzz Lightyear, Slinky Dog, and all their pals. Next, she collected her beloved old toys, Buttercup the Unicorn, Trixie the Triceratops, a hedgehog called Mr. Pricklepants, and a rag doll named Dolly. We're going to have so much fun, Bonnie told them excitedly. When Bonnie ran off to find a flashlight, the toys came to life. I hope there won't be any scary animals, Rex the dinosaur whispered. Maybe we're going to explore the attic, Trixie guessed. Before the friends could finish guessing, Bonnie burst in with a big smile. We're camping out, she announced as she scooped up the bag with all her favorite toys. Moments later, they were in a tent in Bonnie's very own backyard. Here we are, Bonnie said as she pulled the toys out of her bag. Rex, you sit next to Trixie. Buttercup, Woody, and Buzz, you'll be next to my sleeping bag. How about a picnic? Bonnie suggested as she passed out toy plates and food. Just then, they heard Bonnie's mom from outside the tent. Dinner time, she called. Bonnie jumped up. I've got to go eat my dinner, she said, but I'll be back soon. Left alone in the tent, the toys began to explore. This sure is comfortable, said Jessie, admiring Bonnie's puffy sleeping bag. Yes, the accommodations are quite satisfactory, Mr. Pricklepants agreed. Well, shine my spurs, Woody exclaimed, noticing an electric lantern on the ground. He turned it on and a warm glow lit up the tent. Gather around, guys, he called out. Let's have a sing-along, Woody suggested. The cowboy began to sing Camp Town Races with his hat over his heart. Jesse soon joined in and Bullseye stomped his hooves. And when the first song was over, everyone wanted to sing some more. After a few tunes, the toys decided to head outside to explore the backyard. Mr. Potato Head opened the tent flaps. The coast is clear, he said, peering out into the dark. Look, the stars are out, said Buttercup as soon as they got outside. Buzz smiled and pointed to a constellation. That, my friend, is the Big Dipper. Seven stars that form a ladle shape, he told his pals. I'm gonna explore the yard. Jesse shouted, hopping on Bullseye's back. Who wants to play freeze tag? Trixie asked the other toys. But before they could even answer, she tapped Rex with her horn. Tag, you're frozen, she called. The rest of the toys grinned and started to run as Trixie chased after them as fast as she could. Hey, Rex called out, still frozen. Somebody, tag me? Anybody? Soon, the toys were tired and decided to go back into the tent. How about a theatrical shadow puppet production, suggested Mr. Pricklepants. Great idea, said Woody. The toys used Bonnie's flashlight to make shadow puppets on the tent wall. First, Buzz made an airplane with his wings. Then, Mr. Pricklepants made an elephant by holding out his arm. Rex peeked outside the tent window. Gee, it sure got dark fast, he said. But before he knew it, Dolly made a pair of bunny ears behind his head, and everyone laughed, even Rex. Every sleepover needs a scary story, said Mr. Potato Head, clicking off the light. Once, there was a little toy that got lost in the forest. The very dark forest, he began. Rex started to shiver. Just like now, he said. Suddenly, 
there were footsteps, Mr. Potato Head continued. Just then, the toys heard footsteps outside the tent. Like now, Jesse gasped. A monster was coming, Mr. Potato Head went on. Ah! Rex shrieked as a huge shadow loomed over the tent. The toys flopped over and all went still. The tent flap opened wide. I'm back! It was Bonnie. She set the toys outside around the lantern. It wouldn't be the best camp out ever if we didn't toast marshmallows, she announced. The toys didn't say a word, but they couldn't have agreed more. And Rex was especially glad that there wasn't a real monster after all. The End <laughs>